So I just thought I'd take you over the Phytec system that I just put on Studebaker. I posted a video already of driving it. Uh, it runs great. Everything, everything's working well on it. Just thought I'd take real quick and go over this. So I used the command center from Phytec. And uh, let's see if I can get my light set here so I kind of see this. I think it's too bright. There we go. So... Uh, command center, uh, basically a sump, has a float in it and a needle and seat. Needle and seat looks similar to that of a holly. I think that's probably what it is. Um, they do advertise this as not any return hose, which is correct, but the one part they don't tell you in advertisements is that it has a vent. And because this is a sump and it is a needle and seat, the needle and seat could stick, you got to send your vent back to your fuel tank. So basically, you're doing the same thing as a return hose. So, uh, so you're not saving yourself anything there. Uh, you can't vent this into a carbon canister because if it did overflow, it'd fill up the carbon, can carbon canister and that'd overflow. Now, the one thing I'm going to do, because I, do, I don't like that really, is the fact that you'd never know if the needle seat was stuck if this is all working correctly. It'd just send the fuel back, and it would be a return line basically so um uh, i think that i'm going to take a piece of clear fuel hose and put in here so that way uh, a person could observe the fact that it's not flowing back to the tank and if it was then you know you need to do some repairs um so you got a this other line is your from your stock fuel pump coming from down there and uh, that's a low pressure running around five uh, don't want it to exceed eight if it's a holly needle and seat's not going to hold anything past that then it'll start to flow through this and back to the tank uh, this is high pressure side goes up goes to the throttle body has a um, filter which is included with the kit and also I put a filter in, metal clad filter, that goes in before the stock fuel pump. That way we're, we're filtered going in and we're also filtered going out. Now they put two fuel pressure gauges on here. That's really, they're really pointless. Um, <clears throat> they, they don't need to be there. Uh, kind of foo-foo stuff. But one is for the low pressure side, one's for the high pressure side. Uh, then we have um, our our wires coming in, one for the ground, the other one coming in from the computer that turns it on for the fuel pump. Uh, <clears throat> that's it. That's all there is to that. They give a couple mounting brackets. It's got to be mounted level. So the, we got our throttle body uh, sitting here, and uh, it is all, it's got the ECU um, mounted inside of the throttle body. So all you got is just a few wires coming out the front, a few wires coming out the back and it's just basically a, a plug and play with all of that um i do have it hooked to the ignition for it to control the spark because we had a little bit of problem with the kicking back on the starter on this and that way we, we don't have that problem anymore um the only things you have to install has i've got the oxygen sensor down there that I welded that bung in on, and then there's a uh, temp sensor I put in the back of, of one of the heads. That's it. You plug all that in. You run all your your wires, you know, you, for your positives and your your grounds and everything. And then turn my light off here. Come around here, and you have a handheld which I was saying permanently mounting it, but then I was saying, well, really, what's the point of that? Um, let's turn the air conditioner off here. And here the fuel pump pressure's up, shuts off. Um, here we've got, uh, let's go back. I'm going to go to the dashboard, start it. RPM and, and you can see our uh, air fuel ratio is is great. It'll come up to that target here in just a moment. So you can hit it, it'll hold it there. And uh, our IAC step 
once it warms up will drop down to about six it's supposed to be between three and ten and that's where it's at uh, that's something something is a uh, is an idle uh, the adjuster screw out there you adjust it down till you get to that point and uh and then you can see uh you know where it gives us gives us all this this information right here and it even gives us our vacuum that is running. Everything's good on that. So anyway, it'll be a whole new video to go through everything that this thing does. But you basically you go back and you 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 have your initial setup here, initial engine setup. Oh, I don't have it turned on. It's fine. So got it now. And then hit initial engine setup, and then it'll gives us, you know, I've got engine size 259, it's got a model cam, and I put a rev limit at 5500, so it has fuel cut out on that. And our idle is set at 650. And uh, right now, I've got the, I actually have the, the ignition wired back to run an attack wire. Um, well, I'm going to put it back the way the other way because I'm seeing which way it worked best. But the other other way, it doesn't kick back on the starter like it does when it's like this once it gets warmed up. Um, so that's about it. That's that covers it. Um, I don't have a whole lot of complaints at all about it. Uh, I did have to call Tech Support once, and they uh, they were kind of worthless. I did it on the ignition because I couldn't get to start when I went with the, the two wire Hall effects. And basically, they, uh, um, I don't think they knew even what a Hall effects was. The guy just read, it, read me the instruction sheet and was a little bit arrogant about having to read it to me. Um, maybe they, he was having a bad day, I don't know. But anyway, I figured it out on my own and, uh, and got it working. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, yeah, if we just about done, I'm going to put a 700R4 in this, get rid of this manual 5-speed, make it a little easier to drive. Um, I've, I've already, when I restored this, um, I put air conditioning on it, built all the brackets in uh, here to to do the air conditioning. and Everything seems to work, work well. It's so kind of... I don't know if you call it custom or butchered, but it's it's it wasn't in a kit, that's for sure. It just came in, in pieces that I I could round up that I thought would work. Um, put the big aluminum radiator in it, uh, and the cooling fan has no overheat issues at all. The truck runs well, drives good. It's amazing how well it stops with the stock brakes on it. So anyway, I'll stop jabbering and uh, throw this on YouTube. Thanks for looking.